We're ready to get this one underway. It's uh, Zen versus Lost. Zen just done taking down Razier's. And he said that he wanted to go again. So Lost stepping up to the plate here. Um, but we're going to be playing this one on US East because Zen can play US East server, he says. Um, he's got 100 ping, which is definitely playable. Um, but it's going to be tough because, I mean, Lost is an extremely fast player. He's been playing quite a lot of 1v1 recently. And yeah, with, with the, the home server, you've got to think that he's going to be able to beat Zen to the ball every now and then. Um, if Zen doesn't compensate for the ping disadvantage. He's going to need to remember that at all times. That actually, if it looks like he's getting a 50-50, he's probably getting beaten to the ball. If it looks like he's beating Lost to the ball, it probably is a 50-50, and so on. Obviously, Zen's a very confident guy, because he said he can play in US East, um, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Now, the reason we're not going to be switching servers back and forward is because I'm pretty sure um, that Lost Ping to Europe will be in the yellow numbers, not the, the lovely green, although we're at the absolute limit of what is colored green in the ping for Zen here, 100. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Lost Ping will be in the 120s, One, 110s at the absolute best, but probably 120s to EU server, um, because he is in Florida for um, this split of RLCS, which is a, that's further away geographically from the European servers than Zen is from the NA servers. Oh, nice shot in reverse. Zen puts the second goal in. He doesn't seem to have any issues with uh, the away server up until now. Lost did not expect a shot there because he, he would have jumped if he was anticipating a shot. Zen sneaking it past him. Rian40, thanks to the Prime. Welcome to the channel. I didn't expect uh, Lost to be available now, so it's really cool that we can get this match. Thought you'd probably be scrimming because most, most uh, NA teams are scrimming around about now, but Lost was apparently just grinding some 1v1s. I don't think he's streaming right now, but he has been streaming a lot recently on Twitch, so be sure to check him out um, on Twitch. Very entertaining player from Brazil. I think a team uh, with a great chance of making the Winter Major. If they can keep up the, the grind that they're clearly on. I mean, these guys are putting in the hours. They're, they're up there with uh, some of the most hours played. Whoa, that's ridiculous for Zed. He just bumped Lost off the wall when Zed had no boost. He bumped Lost off the wall to secure possession for himself. And he didn't fall. That's insane. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Because, I mean, going for low <laughs> boost bumps can be so risky. Because usually if your opponent has boost, they're just going to recover. <laughs> and you're going to be at the game. But that time Zed just clattered Lost away and he's fine. <laughs> I don't believe it. Using that same kind of strategy that he used against Razier's in their 1v1 where he's clearly on one side of the ball. Uh, against Razier's he wave dashed under the ball to shoot it the opposite way that Razier's was expecting. This time he pre-flips underneath the ball to get it to go the other way. Direction change has been king for Zen in his offense in both of the series that we've seen him play so far. I actually... Uh, We'll read out a pretty funny message I just got from Vatira. So I, I wrote to Vatira to congratulate him on a one's win against Moxie. Um, sorry, that was my PC that made that noise, by the way, before all of you go and check what's wrong with yours. Um, yeah, I messaged Vatira to congr congrats, uh, congratulate him on the one's win, because I think that's a pretty, pretty cool win um, for a player not known for his ones. And uh, yeah, he replied saying thank you. It was harder than playing RLCS. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, it, it is crazy to hear <laughs> that a player like Vatira thinks 1v1ing Moxie is harder than RLCS. But, I mean, it, it really is just so stressful. Playing 1v1, I'm sure, for all of you who've tried, it is just such a stressful game mode. You don't get even a split second to, to you know, have a just a, a breather. You know, you're just constantly going, 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 unless there's a, a goal happening. Um, and you can, you know watch the replay like Zen is here to just take a second to yourself. The gameplay is absolutely non-stop action and you're the guy under pressure the entire time. Every, uh, you know, every time you press the boost button, you you have to think about it. You can't just use boost and zoom around the field and hope that it works like you do in three, you know, hope that it'll you know, work and you'll be fine like 3v3. Yeah, 1v1 is, is by far the most pressuring game mode. Oh, well done by Lost to slot that 
dish into the far post self corner. I mean, I'm sure we can all relate to that. So when, when I'm playing threes, I can go full autopilot. I don't really need to think about it. Don't need to calm. Just you know, you just vibe in with uh, with the boys, booming the ball around the field. And it's just, it is nice that uh, it's always a good decision to go. Like the fact that just sending it, like just going as fast as you can to the ball and hitting it in a random direction is usually a, a totally acceptable play in threes. It really takes away a lot of the pressure from the game mode. You're like, oh well, don't really need to think about it if it's always fine to go. <laughs> Whereas in twos and ones, yeah, it's definitely not always fine to go. You need to think about it a little bit more too, so you need to be really in sync with your teammate on the same page or else you can get isolated ones you don't have anyone to fall back on that's probably what the tier means when he says it's harder than rlcs um i don't think he's roasting his rlcs competition <laughs> although he might be it is the tier we're talking about well, zen is absolutely rolling lost in this game he has had full control loss looks uncomfortable in the field you can't um you can't anticipate the majority of zen's moves you know lost is a player who's known for his speed he's known for his constant movement he's known for his uh incredible ability to just keep up his average speed throughout a game but what zen brings to the table like i mentioned in the series against Razier's, is bursts of speed bursts of acceleration the ability to generate a ton of momentum from a standstill the ability to generate a ton of power on the ball from a standstill and that seems to be catching lost off guard more often than lost can surprise zen lost just Unable to get a reset play past Zen as well. He's down 9 2 now. That's all she wrote for game one. Yeah, for anyone who's just tuning in, it's on US East server. We're going to be on US East server for the whole match today because Zen said he can play on it. And uh, yeah, this is the closest that the players' pings are going to get. If we go on the other servers, it's going to be in the yellow for, for Lost. You know, for some players, that's fine. I don't want to, you know, pressure Lost into that situation, though. You know, if, if a player asks for a US East opponent and they say they can play on the server, that's where the match is happening, you know? But uh, if, I, if, if, I, if this is a match that... If this was my idea and I approached both the players, I would probably check with both of them, like, hey, can you play US East? Can you play Europe? Um, we'll do, you know, should we do best of five, set of four? Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, the way this match came about, it just made sense to do it all in US East. Have we got Adj? Oh, well, at least it's a good time when the game's over. Um, we'll, we'll take the full minute to let ads happen during the break. I didn't think ads were going to happen. How long have I been live? Oh, oh, I've been live for over two hours. Okay, fair enough. I did not realize I'd been live for two hours. Oh, my bad. I thought we were... I, th I should have checked. I thought we'd only been live for like an hour and a half or something. Yeah, my bad on that one. I was not paying enough attention to the stream time. Do I think Moxie would be a good RLCS player? I absolutely think Moxie could, he could do it. He's got potential. Um, but it doesn't seem to be his goal right now. Moxie's very clearly focusing on 1v1 and focusing on content. So, yeah, it seems that it's just not something he's actively pursuing. Now, if he did decide to put his you know, full focus onto that, I think, yeah, Moxie could do well in RLCS. I think that He's clearly got the mechanics. He's uh, definitely got the work ethic. He puts enough time into the game. And yeah, he's, he's improved enough in various aspects of his game that I think he, yeah, he could learn threes for sure. He's got a good mentality. Um, but as with all ones players, it's not just about them. It's not just about the one uh, player. It's not about the individual. It's about whether or not they can find a team that they want to get good with, um, you know, you, you need to you need a team to work with you if you're going to really improve to the highest level. You know, think to apparently Jack when he first started playing RLCS, he played with uh, Stormtroopers, he played the Dead Monster, and who was their other player? Polar, I believe. Um, you know, that's not a team who are going to be winning majors. It's not a team who's going to be qualifying for majors, but it was a team that were willing to you know improve and willing to get better and give him a you know springboard for success, and that's what gave him the the dignitas. Uh, contract and that's eventually what gave him the ability to make a name for himself enough that he can persuade an org to move uh, move him to North America and start over there uh, and now become I think part of one third of the best team in the world so that's what it's all about it's about finding a team that you can improve with and 
show everybody that you're serious. Where apparently Jack, that was Stormtroopers. For Moxie, he needs something similar. Three players that want to improve as a team. I don't know about you guys, but Zen looks pretty confident in my opinion. But there's one of those moments I was talking about that he's got to be careful of. Oh, a bit unlucky for Lost. That bounce is not friendly to him. But that right there probably looked like a 50-50 on Zen's screen. And I'm not, I'm not saying this as uh, some kind of excuse um, for Zen. It's a misplay to go for something that looks like a, a clear 50-50 when you've got a ping disadvantage. If you're ever playing on the away server like this, you cannot go if it looks like your opponent is getting there just before you are, because they're probably getting there, uh, in fact, quite clearly before you are, like Lost did there. Just got a clean beat, even if it looked like uh, a lot closer on Zen's screen, which I'm sure it would have, because he would never go if it looks like he's getting beaten. He's got a good read on uh, racing to the ball for sure. Lost stepping up the defense in this game. He's going to get his first goal just over two minutes in. All about the pre-jumps and defense for Lost in game two. He's starting to get a read on Zen. I don't think that's a reliable way to beat Zen, though. I think that if he's going to consistently fight in this matchup and go the distance, he needs to get control. He needs to be the one dictating the flow of the game. If we saw it in the Razier series, once Zen's in control, it's very hard to come back. It's very hard to stop him. Raziers was able to take one game off Zen, and that was a game that he controlled the majority of. He was able to dictate the pace. He was able to dictate where on the pitch the match would happen. And whenever it was Zen running the show, it really did not look like it was comfortable to go up against. A couple of fake jumps here for Lost, followed by a real one. And now the race commences. And it's going to be a race won by Zen. He just had a bit better of a landing here. Lost did make contact with Zen. Yeah, Zen just had more boost left over, so he was able to accelerate more quickly. Spoots, thanks for the seven month prime. Welcome back to the channel. Love catching these show matches. Learned a lot about my own game from them. I'm glad to hear it, man. There's lots of things that you can apply from show matches, one show matches, your own game. Uh, whether you, whether or not you're a ones player, uh, whether or not you're a high level player, a lot of concepts in ones are just uh, very true for Rocket League in general and very true at all levels. Um, so it's a great way to improve, but watching the best players in 1v1 and seeing what they do in certain situations. Oh, that was nearly a good move by Zen, or by uh, Lost, sorry, but he got caught out. Did very well to keep the ball in a safe location, dodging onto the side wall, but he needed to jump after that and he would have been, I think, home free in the back corner. Zen is just so, so good right now terrifying prospect for the world of Rocket League that Zen looks this impressive against an active 1v1 player who is as mechanical as Lost is. I mean, everyone knows that Lost is one of the most mechanical players in the world. Everyone knows that he's been grinding recently, but he just cannot stop Zen. Zen is up 6-1. He just air dribbled off his back wall, got multiple resets, and stuck it in the top corner. <laughs> this guy's unbelievable. I don't think I can stress how, how impressive this is, though, because, yeah, Lost is no slouch. He's in the top 100. I think he might even be in the top 50. Can somebody check where is Lost in the leaderboard right now? He's active. He's mechanical. He's talented. And Zen is making him look second best by a country mile here. Lost has got to step it up. It just looks, it just looks unplayable. Yeah, I think Zen's the truth. I think everything, uh, all the hype is warranted. I think all the hype is real. That's definitely going to be a misplay. Though Lost had a good read on this one. That must have taken a lot of guts to just sit there and not panic. Because, yeah, that... <laughs> even the position like that, even a tight angle like that, you've got to think that there's a chance Zen puts it on target. I think Lost is just weighing up his options there, thinking, well, if I jump up at this... Best case scenario, I'm saving his, you know, shot and maybe getting possession and I have to score on a defended net. That's not really all that great. Be a bigger win in the position would be, well, let's hope that Zen misses. Then I've got a free goal. So, you know, risk versus reward. Good decision making by Lost. Zen starting to flop a little bit at the end of the game. And the complete leave on the kickoff by Lost there, essentially. He, if he did fake that, it wasn't all that convincing. That's got him immediately under pressure. 
And another demo by Lost, or by Zen, sorry, would do it. Zen just narrowly missed it there. Another long range air dribble commences into the reset. Fakes the wave dash shot and lets the ball bounce in. And can you blame Lost for pre jumping? I certainly wouldn't. That looked convincing from Zen. And with the mechanical display he's had on show since the start of this series, you can understand why Lost would expect that to be flying into the other top corner. There's really nothing you can do. The only way you can stop that is by going out and challenging it. If you're on the goal line, you're at the mercy of the attacking player. When the attacking player has mechanics like these, yeah, that's big trouble. 8-4. Lost just sent the house there. I mean, he kind of had to. I don't blame him for lunging in there either. I think Lost is, you know, he's not made bad decisions here, but it's caused him to go down 8-4 instead of 6-4. Because Zen has just outplayed him, pure and simple. And that's going to be game two to the Frenchman. He's in dominant form. Let's see if Lost can do what Razier's did at least. Can he get one game? That's where it all starts. You're just going to take one game at a time. And if Lost is going to take the good from this game, the good is that he did start to get a little bit of a read on Lost aerial offense early in the game. Um, really, for me, the biggest step to winning in this matchup for Lost would be getting into the game earlier, getting into the game after the kickoffs especially. He needs to have some semblance of kickoff control, and I don't think that the kickoff variety that he went for in this game was the answer. He went for a delayed kickoff, he went for a fake kickoff in the offset spawn. I think he needs to just yeah, go for something a little bit more bulletproof early in game three. Of course, you all know I'm talking about the half-flip kickoff, my new favorite kickoff. Uh, <laughs> forget wave dash kickoffs it's a half flip kickoff let's see it lost we need to see some kind of mix up early okay he's on the straight spawn what do you do here ladies and gentlemen give me a kickoff mix up on the straight spawn you've got two seconds and I'm going to tell you of course it's the inverted half flip followed by the self writing mechanism he's not going to do it <laughs> yeah the turtle kickoff you know it's actually not a troll kickoff. It's a good kickoff. The turtle kickoff is good. Reason is that even though you're likely to lose the possession a few times, your car is always facing your goal, so you can always retreat and get back into position quickly. Love that pre-flip shot from Lost. Zen's jumping all over the place, but Lost respecting Zen's recoveries enough so as not to shoot immediately there. Wanted to bump Zen off the back wall. Now bumping Zen on the ground. Zen's rolling with the punches. Lost still. Holding on, despite being in a big boost advantage for the past few seconds. Another early challenge by Zen. Oh my goodness. Well, Lost is trying everything to get into the play here. Pre-jump, that's an early challenge by Zen. I meant, I meant Lost pre-jump in there. Oh, there's just nothing he can do. He just can't read Zen's ridiculous creative solutions. He jumped way off the back wall there and then Somehow sends the ball behind Lost, who is on the goal line and ready to defend. A lot of these shots are one of a kind. You can't really blame Lost for falling for these. Zen trying to turtle flick into an air dribble, it would seem. At this point, uh, hey, I, I think it's playable. If it's Zen, sure, why not? <laughs> Lost is definitely... Starting to get a bit inconsistent because that was an open net miss. He can't afford that now. Oh, and he's fair to clear this as well. He might have tried to crossbar pinch this, but it didn't go anywhere. Ran out of boost, had to retreat. Yeah, he just didn't get enough distance on it. A bit of an unlucky bounce. It went straight back towards Zen, but even if it didn't, I think Zen's going to be in a decent position there, so it's very tough to see Lost really doing much there. A lot of snap on the ground shot there by Lost, but all he gets is a reward is a boost grab. Zen circling. Makes a challenge with the wave dash turn. Lost actually has him in a very awkward spot though. Can't get the shots on target. The, wave, the flip reset misses. Oh, he's missed the boost as well. It's all gone wrong for Lost. Well, he really should have scored in one of those instances. Zen just hearing Lost approaching. But oh, look, Lost has found an opening. Well, Zen knew that was coming because he was listening in. Heard the jump. But Lost. Stuck the landing. Great stuff. Turned his car around so he was ready to immediately drive off that wall into the middle of the pitch where the ball was headed. 
Zen closing the door in the immediate kickoff goal. This is the best show we've seen from Lost yet. But he's had some inconsistencies. Beautiful landing by Zen. He's missed his pinch shot though. And now he's out of position. Lost is through. Well, if he made a couple of mistakes earlier in the game, now Zen has returned the favor. 2-2. Two -two. What can Lost do from a tie game? LucasF27, thanks to the Prime. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Glad to have you in. Thanks for everybody tuning in. Hopefully you're enjoying the show matches tonight. As much as I am. Well, that is brave by Lost. Didn't even flip on his goal line, despite the fact that... Or, did I say Lost again? I keep mixing up these guys' names for some reason. <laughs> okay, Zen. <laughs> He's just freestyling on him now. I mean, a lot of these air rolls have a purpose. This one is just because he can. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's, he's thinking to himself, you know what, for this reset double, I would really like my car to be a couple more inches to the right, so I'm just going to throw a spin in there as well. Why not? And he makes it look so easy. But yeah, I, I, of course, meant to say that you know, I'm, I'm liking the style from Lost in this match, but he is still making a few misplays. Air double bump, not going to work. Zen backed off all the way. Lost actually just adapted it into more of a standard shot. I like that from Lost flying into position because he didn't want to get bumped as he was landing. This is a very difficult approach to challenge. Zen just waiting. Lost gets up close and personal. Scores to tie the game up again. But if you're wondering why Zen isn't challenging here, it's because Lost is faking jumps, he's faking shots, he's faking takeoffs. And uh, that kind of back forced Zen to back off. Great stuff from Lost. From that close range. You're almost always going to score against a player on 100 ping. Big pre-jump from Zen. Doesn't want to give Lost the same time in the approach as he did last time. Oh, he's won the fight for the back corner boost. Lost got pit maneuvered. Now he's completely starved. Makes a little bit of contact, but it's not much. It's not enough. Zen slots the angle shot. Yeah, just nothing that Lost could do there. Zen had a reset, so he kind of just had to go and hope that the 50-50 goes safe, but Lo uh, Zen was just controlling it the entire time. Nullifies Lost's effort. Zen now. Maybe thinking about a pogo. I'd love to see if he can execute that. Looks like that one might be at the moment. Not part of his offensive arsenal. This looks like Lost can turn over possessions so easily whenever Lo uh, he has the ball. He's struggling to keep a hold of it. Zen just takes it away from him. And Zen's seemingly capable of holding on to possession for longer periods of time without giving lost openings to get it back. That's maybe the key for lost. Is just try to keep the possession. Try to run the show like Raziers did in the one game when he had against Zen. Zen did get frustrated in that game. A big boom from Zen. He's up for it. But he only hits the bar though. Has Lost got an opportunity? Not a lot of boost to work with. He doesn't have much of a bounce on this ball either. He's going to go for the boost seal instead. I think wisely. Just let Zen have the touch. Time running out. Can Lost create an opening? It's just one goal in it. This is one of the best chances he's going to get. Immediately challenged by Zen, who's pre-flipping back now. Lost still a step ahead of him in this little play. He's got the boost advantage. Zen is wall dashing to make up for it. Oh, he's fallen off the wall though. Well, there it is. The pressure got to him. Lost. Stole enough boosts. And that made Zen try and chain dash to clear the ball. And such a high risk play. Even Zen can get it wrong. Four, four, seven seconds to go. Zen going to have the first real chance in the closing seconds. Reset immediately. Lost charges in. What a challenge. A necessary dive by Lost. Retreating would be suicidal. To overtime we go. Should be Zen's ball. Lost goes. Zen saw it coming. And that's huge. If you watch anyone streaming against Lost these days in any ranks, you'll often hear them exclaiming that they can't believe he went for this, that, and the next thing. Zen unsurprised, but Lost still wins it. Great finish. Zen completely out the game. He went all in with the air dribble. 
Lost shuts him down. Massive game win there from Lost. That wasn't easy. You know, the game win that Razier's got on uh, Zen. He was running the show. That one, I feel like Lost was still in Zen's world. It did feel like another Zen game. Uh, you know, a lot of the shots that Lost was able to create didn't look like they were ever going to lead to much, but eventually he got the ball through. The big, the biggest play in that game is actually Boost Starving Zen to force him to misplay with the chain dash. That, to me, is the turning point. It looked like Zen was just fine until Lost patiently, methodically boost starved him. Yeah, the winner lost. Oh, big fake by Zen. That's a blunder from Lost nonetheless. He wanted to go, of course, because he doesn't have a lot of boost. He knows backing down is going to be very difficult to defend, so tried to create a 50-50. Yeah, flipping into the ball there would have probably made a bit more sense than going for a big block. Oh, Zen might have... Did he lag out here? Why was he on the wall? Did he go for a ceiling challenge, maybe? Oh, no, he didn't lag out. He just fell off the ceiling. Okay. I wasn't sure because he was lagging earlier, but it looks like this time he just got it wrong. He fell off the ceiling. He tried to fake a ceiling challenge, drive back down the wall, but he went too far. His car lost contact with the ceiling and fell. <laughs> you can go quite a ways onto the ceiling without before turning because um, the upper momentum does last a while. And not that far. Look at this now. Lost starting to see success. That was another mistake by Zen. He's carelessly dribbled the ball right up next to Loss, and like I said at the end of the last game, if there's one thing Lost is known for, one thing that Furia players are known for, it's rush challenges, charging when their opponents have the ball. Zen, showing that he's quite capable in that regard as well. But I don't think it's something that's as synonymous with his playstyle. Um, in the Razier series, Zen mixed it up a lot. He, you know, faked enough challenges, shattered enough to make these rush challenges difficult to spot. Um, and speaking of the, you know, making things difficult to spot, I'm not convinced by Lost's fake kickoff there. That, that's something that Dark has been doing to great success recently. Um, the key to success is to make it look like a real kickoff, but it's pretty clear to me at least that Zen's uh, able to spot Lost not going. Let's see if he tries it again. We have to see Zen's POV, really. And then, well, that time he obviously just goes. Yeah, getting your nameplate to move in the same way as a regular kickoff does, it's very difficult on that spawn. I think, you, you know, it's clear to see that Dark's really mastered that when you compare Lost's attempts to it um, with Dark's. Great shot from distance from Zen. He's put himself up by two goals now. Can't allow this goal gap to open up too much more. Well played by Lost there. Wait, he didn't rush the jump. He knew that he could beat Zen to the ball there. And that just might be an open net. Depending on how fast Zen can get back, he just gets it. After narrowly missing the boost, he reversed back for it in midfield. Good position for Lost again, though. Oh, Zen's just pre-jumped in, though. Well, like, you know, Zen has done a really good job surprising Lost with those. And again, he's able to dish it in off the back wall. Lost first to compliment him in the quick chat. So he knows that this is difficult to get going quickly. And again, Zen is jumping way off the wall for this. Still gets a hard shot on target. What a play by Lost! <laughs> Question marks from Zen. Well, we have to see what Zen's POV was. I I don't know if Lost meant that. I don't think that's what he was trying to do. It looked like he was trying to reset. And he just fell over sideways. And the ball bounced off his guard and went in. I mean, it's a pogo shot at the end of the day. But I don't think it was planned. For once, the freestylers might be right. That wasn't that probably wasn't plan A. <laughs> I don't think he tried it. That was probably the one time on my stream that it looked like the plan B. Oh my days! Zen actually hits that. Well, that was intentional. That is the first 
that we've seen in a one show match on my stream. We're just getting clips at either end of the field right now. I think we're, well, I'm going to say I think it was an accidental pogo shot from Lost, but that was fully intentional by Zen. Completely sends the air roll shot off his own back wall. I know he wasn't airborne when he hit the first touch, so it doesn't count as a, a double tap, but no less impressive. The power he was able to generate by dodging is just absolutely on another level. I'm going to save this replay. That's an unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable by Zen. Still a close game, though. Lost is in this. It seems like he's having a good time, even though he's on the losing end of most of these plays. Pre-jump red. Zen scores a seven. And Lost has to play the ball on a few of these plays, because Zen is going for these. Very, very high pre-jump by Lost. Does not seem advisable. Of course, he wants a big dunk on the end of it, but... Objective number one is to make sure you get a piece of the ball. At least force the outplay. Reset for Zen. Fakes the floor pinch. Actually dodges away from the ball now. Interesting recovery mechanics by Zen. What can Lost do off the side wall? It's a tight angle. Reset is there. Wave dash shot not able to do too much, but the follow-up will. Zen's clear. More of a pass to his opponent on this one. Might have been expecting a faster shot there. And he sort of panicked, hitting the ball straight into Lost. Can Lost close the gap? I don't think anyone would complain. Even Zen fans probably would not mind seeing a Game 5 here. This has been such an entertaining series. Zen's done him again. It's a pre-flip reset double. I mean, what on earth are we watching? <laughs> what on earth do they feed... Kids for breakfast in France. <laughs> like, how is he this good? <laughs> it's not actually just insane. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's probably been a lot of people questioning if the hype is real. This this game alone, this one game will answer all those questions. <laughs> I think if anyone wonders if the hyper and Zen is real, just show them this one game. They don't even need to watch the whole series. Although I think they're probably going to enjoy it if they do. This game will probably do the trick. Just the past minute or two has been. Completely out of this world. Another delayed kickoff there by Lost. He's trying something. That hasn't worked either of the times he's gone for it, though. His fake kickoffs have not been as convincing as they need to be. And his delayed kickoffs have failed to make contact. Zen misses an open net, only to set himself up for an even harder one. Lost committed. Didn't get anywhere. <laughs> it's all good, though. Zen can apparently score off the most impossible angles with consistency whenever he wants no big deal and yeah I think that the base of the way kickoffs have been going the comeback is going to be very very hard to see Lost is going to pull this off Zen is just scoring every single time he gets the ball right now and this time Lost did have boost but he just couldn't get near a pretty standard shot. Honestly, a pretty boring goal by Zen's standards. I've come to expect more from him. What I mean, what was that? A single reset straight down the middle of the goal. Zen, we've, we've come to expect more from you, young man. What a boring goal by Zen. <laughs> oh, for yes, for those of you who can't uh, understand, I am, of course, joking. He is, he is he's a nutcase. This man's absolutely insane. Right, what else have you got planned? Let's see what he's going to pull off this time. Oh, he went for a pogo shot of his own. That one was planned. Went off target, but you know, that's something you're going to see a lot more this year. I think that is going to become a very popular shot. Obviously, Dark has inspired everybody to learn how to pogo, but the easier way to learn how to implement that into your game is just to shoot the ball with the bounce, not to try and air dribble off the back of it. GG's lost. Not able to get a game. Zen too good. And uh, yeah, lost. Did look a bit lost in the pitch at times, for lack of a better word. Looked like he was, uh, I think, just a bit confused about what he's up against a lot of the time. And you can't really blame him. Really appreciate him coming on, taking some time out of his day. And shout out to Zen as well for playing two, two matches back to back against Firstly and Razier is one of the most accomplished players in the one scene. And now against Lost, one of the most mechanical players in the world. And he... 3-1 both of them.